Hi everybody, my name is Victoria. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are just doing a fun little video, the booktube dog tag. And I've actually done another tag about dogs, which was titled something else. I'll link that down below if you want to see that. It features the same dogs. <laughs> I don't remember when I did that, maybe a year or two ago, but I still have the same dogs. But these questions were a little different and I was also kindly tagged by Tiffany from Beautiful Minutia. So I figured I would go ahead and do this and uh, I'll link hers down below too. She talks about Gus, her cute dog, and I know she just got another dog. <laughs> so I definitely want want some, some updates about the new dog as well. I believe the original of this video is from Donica Lee Ellis and I will link hers down below as well. I'm in a slightly different location today than I usually film. I'm in my living room and that is because it's a little easier to hang out with my furry buddies over here on the couch <laughs> so they can sit next to me and hang out with me while I do this tag. The first question is tell us about your dogs or dog singular if you have one dog and I'm gonna go ahead and disturb one of my dogs who's kind of napping next to me. So this here is Evelyn. Evelyn was a rescue. She was the second dog that we got. We got Dusty first and Evelyn is very scrappy. <laughs> she was apparently found on the streets like surviving on garbage that she was finding on the streets and they think she was on the streets for a few days before um, they caught her. Maybe longer? So this is a tough little dog. <laughs> She's very scrappy. She's gonna survive anything. So this is Evelyn and she's also totally mama's girl, like wherever I am, she's always like right next to me. Um, she's definitely taken to me <laughs> as her like primary owner. She's always with me and follows me everywhere. So she's like my little, my little mini me. And right now I need to give her a bath. She's a little bit, a little bit um, eye gunk around the eyes. She gets eye gunk really badly. Um, it just like forms really fast with her. So sorry, I need, I need to actually give her a bath. <laughs> Maybe we'll do that later today. <laughs> and this little dude is Dusty. Dusty is maybe a cross between a Chihuahua and an Italian Greyhound. He's a, a very strange looking dog. <laughs> We're not quite sure what he is. <laughs> I don't think he even knows that he's a dog sometimes. He doesn't always act like a dog. Um, actually, when we got Evelyn, he started to act more like a dog. It was kind of like he needed some inspiration on what a dog should act like. <laughs> and then when we got Evelyn, uh, he he was acting more like confident in his in his dog identity. <laughs> so this is Dusty. He's very timid, very shy, very mild mannered, as you can see. Uh, he'll just let you hold him all day, forever, and he won't put up a fight. But he's got super, super long legs. He's more legs than dog, really. But Dusty is our oldest dog, probably. We think he's probably upwards of 12, maybe 13, 14. Not sure, though. He was a rescue as well. And so um, it's hard to know. He has pretty, pretty bad teeth. And so that makes the vets think he's pretty old. Um, but it's possible with his breed that he just has bad teeth and uh, he, he could be younger, not sure. He's definitely got a lot of gray hair now, so I think he is probably a little bit of a senior citizen. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I just love him to death. He's very cuddly when he wants to be, but mostly his loyalty lies to the blanket. Wherever the blanket is, Dusty will be. And sometimes that's not with you and he'll be hiding under a blanket. So you have to be careful where you sit. If you sit on the couch, um, don't sit on a blanket because you'll probably sit on Dusty on accident because he will have covered himself with the blanket. <laughs> Question number two is what would your dog's favorite book be? Um, for Evelyn, I'm gonna go with Bossy Pants by Tina Fey because Evelyn is definitely the boss of the house. She bosses the around the cat. She'll chase the cat around and um, she's definitely the alpha dog between the two dogs. Evelyn is the boss of the house. So I think she would like Tina Fey in bossy pants. For Dusty, I'm gonna give him Fruits Basket Volume 1 because he is just very accepting of anyone who will give him the, the time of day. And I feel like Toru Honda is a very warm, accepting person. And she just kind of takes people at face value and 
just has an open heart towards them and I feel like that's Dusty. <laughs> he doesn't really care who you are. He, he just wants to have some warm bodies to snuggle with. And then if that's not me, if that's not his owner, then he'll just go with them and trust them. So it's very open and trusting like Toru Honda. Question number three is use the first letters of uh, book titles to spell your dog's name. And I'm actually, I'm only gonna do one dog because Evelyn is very hard to find a V book. I stared at my bookshelves for a while and I could not find anything that started with the letter V. I'm sure as soon as I'm done with this tag, I will figure out what book starts with the letter V, but I couldn't in the moment. So we're not gonna do Evelyn's name. We're gonna do D Dusty, cause it's also shorter. <laughs> and so we're gonna go with Dune for D, Unbroken for U. I also, I had a hard time finding a U book. Um, Skyward for S, Till We Have Faces for T, and then You're Never Weird on the Internet for Y. Y was also hard to find, <laughs> but V is apparently impossible. Question number four, what is your dog's relationship with books? I think they like books <laughs> because it means that I'm sitting on the couch or reclining in some way, snuggling with them. So when mom has a book in her hands, it means it's snuggle time <laughs> and the dogs can all dog pile on me, which is basically what happens. Usually Evelyn will try to like crowd out the book that I'm reading. So if I have a book on my lap, Evelyn's like, no, this is a space for a dog and I'm just gonna put myself on top of you. <laughs> so. Um, then I have to put my book on top of Evelyn and she doesn't seem to mind. Question number five is what's your favorite book with a dog? And this one is a hard one to answer because I feel like most dog books or books that involve dogs um, are, are tragic in some way or don't end well for the dog. <laughs> is that just me? I don't think so. I think you've probably noticed the trend there. <laughs> But, um, so I was trying to think of a dog book where um, good things happen or, you know, at least something not tragic happens to the dog. <laughs> and I'm just gonna go with The Phantom Tollbooth by Norton Jester because there is a literal watch dog in it. <laughs> the, the dog on the cover, has he has a watch on him. He's a watch dog and he, he keeps the time. I don't remember a lot about this book. I need to reread it. I also don't think I own it anymore. I did at one point. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna say The Phantom Toll Booth because it's not a sad book with dogs. I think it's happy to my knowledge, to my memory. <laughs> I hope I'm right about that. Question number six is find a book on your shelves with a dog on the cover. And I'm gonna go with a picture book actually. And apparently I stole this book from my fourth grade classroom because on the inside is like my teacher's name and it's clearly written, I think, by her. So I think I accidentally stole this book in the fourth grade. So sorry, Mrs. Quinn, who was my fourth grade teacher at the time, <laughs> but um, Officer Buckle and Gloria. It's a really cute book about a police officer and his canine friend and all the joy and fun that she brings to his life and also the um, silly antics <laughs> that she gets into and drags him into. Oh, and that's by Peggy Rathman. But it's a very cute um, children's book about a dog and a police officer and I've read it many times. Question number seven is find a book in your TBR that has the word dog in the title or has a dog in it. I couldn't remember any books that had dog in the title. Again, I'll probably find a bunch as soon as I I'm done filming this video, but I do have a dog or I guess rather a wolf on the cover. And then actually the dogs and wolves are are an important part of this series, but I have not read this yet, so it is on my TBR still. But that's Royal Assassin by Robin Hobb, the second book in the Far Seeker trilogy. Can't believe I haven't read it yet. I need to now go back and reread the first book because it's been way too long now. But uh, there is a wolf on the cover, which we're gonna call a dog because wolves are just wild dogs, right? Undomesticated ones? Sure, we're gonna go with that. 
Question number eight is who would you like to tag? And anyone who has a dog is welcome to do this tag if you want to feature your fluffy friend. Um, I also, I know Elliot Brooks has a beautiful dog and I don't know if she does tag videos very often but I would love to see a tag all about Luna and um, Jesse May also has dogs. I think one or two. Um, I'm pretty sure I've seen a dog in her video at some point. So Elliot Brooks and Jesse May and uh, I'm not think I can't think of who else has dogs right now who hasn't been tagged. Um, Melissa from Libraries and Labradors comes to mind, but I think Tiffany already tagged her, so you're tagged again, Melissa, if you haven't done this tag yet. And that's it. It's a short and sweet tag, and it was fun to put together and to uh, talk about my pups for a little while. And I will also link the other dog tag that I did down below, so if you want to check that out, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more bookish content from me. And until next time, have a great day and keep reading great books. Bye-bye.